All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, I've had a couple of guys ask me for a tutorial on how to use the Sidewinder uh, and how to like uncage it and all that stuff. So I'm going to do a quick one today. Uh, it's not going to be too long because it's not too complicated of a concept, okay? We'll talk a little bit about the theory, and then I'll show you how to do it. And then at the end, maybe I could show you how to do a uh, kind of like a sneak attack on a, with a Sidewinder in a way where the guy has no idea where you are until that missile hits him. He doesn't even know you're there until it hits him, all right? So we could do that. A um, couple of things to talk about before we get started here. The Sidewinder is an infrared homing missile, which means it's basically using uh, a heat signature to pick up its target. Um, once that missile leaves the rails of my plane, it doesn't need my plane anymore. It's not a radar-guided missile, okay, is basically what I'm saying. Uh, it can go and hit the target all on its own. If I explode in the sky, it doesn't matter. Uh, that missile still knows its target, and it will go and hit it. Uh, other missiles like, you know, the Phoenix, the AIM-7, the AMRAAM, for a certain degree, they still require radar guidance, uh, at least until they go pitbull. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more about those missiles later. This one's going to be uh, primarily about the Sidewinder here. So <clears throat> as that missile uh, travels towards him, it's looking at his heat signature and what his defensive strategy is going to be to counter that missile is to drop flares, which I believe are aluminum. They're basically like uh, very hot on fire aluminum. And he'll pop those out of his plane, flares, and the idea there is <clears throat> he's trying to confuse the uh, heat seeker of the missile to not know which heat signature to go after. The flares, his plane, the other flares. So that's the concept there. Now, before we get started here, I want to point out one thing. You can see that my radar is actually on here. So this Aleutian 78 that's off in front of us, he is very much aware that I'm here. Okay? And he's aware of that because his RWR is telling him that I'm here because he's getting pinged by my radar, okay? Now, because of that, I can't achieve a full um, stealth attack on him because he technically knows I'm here. He's going to be visually trying to see me. And this is really the only way to see a Sidewinder coming at you is to visually see it. Because as we talked about, because it's infrared and it's not radar guided, his plane can't provide any kind of information as to the fact that the missile is coming at him, okay? He, he, the only way he can know that this missile is coming is if he visually sees it come off my plane and come at him. So he's looking for that smoke trail, um, which is why, <clears throat> excuse me, which is why you actually notice they try to make these sidewinders as smoke-free as possible, and like in real life too, right? There's obviously always going to be a little bit of smoke, but uh, they try to make them as smokeless as possible. When it comes to those Phoenix missiles and all that stuff, they don't really seem to care, right? Because he's going to get a radar warning anyway. Um, so basically because of that, I can't get a full sneak attack on this guy. He's going to be visually watching. That's also another reason why you want to always be visually looking at a guy that you're dogfighting with. Because if you're dogfighting, he's going to try to hit you with a Sidewinder or a Russian equivalent, an R-73, something of that nature, uh, which are also infrared homing, just like the Sidewinder. So you need to visually see that missile come off so you can counter it with flares, okay? Um, so that's about all I want to cover. This Aleutian 78 knows we're here, so he's visually watching us right now. So as I lock him up, you can expect him to drop flares, okay? Here we go. Let's get started. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I will be selecting a Sidewinder. If you don't know how to do that, you got to go to your Controls menu and select Sidewinder and see what that is. I believe the default key is Left Shift S. Okay. So what you have here is this bore, this circle that's on the, the HUD there. That's the bore site of the Sidewinder. Okay. So... That's basically the seeker head of the missile on my HUD. It's showing me where it's looking. And what I'm going to do is put the Illusion 78 into that circle so the missile can see him. It's going to achieve a lock on his heat signature, and then I will uncage it by pressing C as in Charlie. That will uncage the missile, 
and it will hopefully track all the way to the target itself. Um, yeah, that's about all I wanted to mention about that. So let's go ahead and do that, all right? I'll zoom in a little so we can see it nicely. So I'm going to put that bore site on top of the Aleutian 78. You get that growling sidewinder tone. I'm going to press C as in Charlie to uncage. See the tone changes? So he's visually watching us, looking for that missile. I'm going to fire the missile now, Fox 2. There it is. Okay, and there's the flares. He saw it coming. He saw that missile coming and he popped flares. Uh, he got unlucky and it hit him anyway. I got one more. Uncage, Fox 2. He sees this one coming, he pops his flares, and that missile missed. It went for the flares, so that missile went stupid. Alright, so you can see it. So that's how the flares work. Okay? And he's still popping flares because he doesn't know that I don't have any more sidewinders. And okay guys, so that's that's basically how the sidewinder works. You just put the bore sight on top of the plane that you want to shoot down, you then uh, uncage it with the C as in Charlie key, and that hopefully should take the guy down. Alright, so now let's go and I will show you how to perform kind of like a stealthy kill with the Sidewinder. Alright guys, so we're going to do that stealthy Sidewinder kill that I was talking about. Uh, up there we have a MiG-31 who's just flying along and we're down here and the first thing I want you to see is the fact that my radar screen is on okay well not just the screen but the radar itself alright so basically what that means if I turn the plane towards him and like my nose is pointing at him uh, he's gonna instantly get that RWR warning and he's gonna know that I'm here all right, which means just like the Illusion 78, he's going to try to visually see me. He's going to go defensive. He's going to look for those uh, smoke trails for that uh, infrared homing missile. And then once he sees that, he'll pop flares. All right. So obviously, I want to reduce his ability to go defensive as much as possible. And I want him to not see me at all. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do in order to achieve that is to turn off my radar. So that when I turn on to him, he doesn't get that RWR warning. All right. So the way I'm going to do that is by coming down here. Down to this radar knob that you can see is in operational right now. I'm going to turn it off to turn it on to off. So I'm going to go standby and off. Okay. Altitude. Altitude. Now you look at my radar screen, and you can see my radar is not scanning anymore. Okay. So the radar is off. Now, one thing I want to talk about before we continue here is for you to be careful how you use this, right? Because you just turned off your radar. You are essentially flying blind. All right. Um, if he has a buddy out there that you can't see or something like that. Um, you got to obviously be careful how you use this, right? I would turn it off, shoot him down, and turn it back on as quickly as possible, right? So uh, the other thing I want to talk about is that the fact that I am below him, all right? And the reason that I've positioned myself like this is because even though the radar is off, there's still a possibility that he could visually see me, right? If he looks off to the side and he sees something glistening off in the distance, he's going to know there's a, a plane there, right? But if you think about it, if I'm positioned below him, it's going to be difficult for him to look over the side of his plane and then look down, right? Um, the only way he's really going to see me is if he's flying inverted. And I have no idea why somebody would just be casually flying inverted. All right? So that's why we're positioned like this. We got the radar off, and we are going to use an infrared homing missile which means he will not receive an indicator in his plane that he has been fired upon. And theoretically, if we do everything correctly here, 
that missile will hit him and he will not pop flares because he will have had no idea that we were here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so radar screen is off. I'm going to switch to Sidewinder. And I will place him inside the bore site of the Sidewinder. And you'll get the Sidewinder growl. There's the growl. I'm going to uncage. And I'm going to fox two. There's one. All right. No flares. No flares. Hit. And that little white streak you see there, that is the ejection. And he is going down. All right. So as we talked about, I just took this guy out. So I am going to come down here. Sorry about that. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put my radar to operational again. Okay, just like I turned it off, I'm going to turn it back to operational. All right, guys, so that is how you do a stealthy sidewinder kill. All right, turn your radar off, position yourself in a situation that's going to be hard for him to visually see you, turn on your sidewinder. Uh, get the Sidewinder Growl, the Lock Tone, uncage it using C as in Charlie, and release weapon. And if everything goes as planned, he's not going to have any idea until he blows up and, well, then he'll know you're there. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. I'll see you next time.